And, and what Pierce said, I mean, Nick Hornby has the, the power to just create um, characters that you just instantly connect, connect with and you, you, you love. And um, I, I felt that, uh, that way with the, with the story. And, uh. Yeah, there's such rich characters. And I think um, what I found so incredible was despite any sort of age difference or generation gap, um, the theme was sort of universal and... Um, we're all human, and um, they connected on a very um, wonderful level. And yeah, to work with actors like these guys in, in the presence of Pascal was so exciting. That's true, you know, because we'd be shooting a scene, and I don't think I've ever been so supported emotionally. Pascal was right there with us, and, and we'd be shooting a scene, and sometimes we had to stop because he's laughing along with it and we'd hear it <laughs> during the tape. Or he'd be, look over and be weeping at the end of it. He was so just as emotionally connected as we were. Um, yeah. I'm so sensitive here. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, the, um, uh, the, the, the beautiful and the most uh, uh, difficult thing about doing a Nick Hornby book is that there is a, is, there is a way that Nick tells stories and, and the only burden I felt in, in, in telling the story was trying to get inside that head and tell it uh, as, as I hoped he'd want it told. And that was, I thought, my only real job on the film. I think that people um, initially thought it was a very easy book to adapt because there is this one image of four characters standing on a roof thinking about whether to jump off or not, that, that people said to me at the time, oh, it's, this book is very cinematic, but actually it's one image. It, it takes you about two minutes of the entire movie and the rest of it is quite complicated. For a start, there's a lot of backstory because you have to explain how they ended up on, on the roof. So in fact, it starts with a dramatic climax and there's, it's Jack's job to, to work that into a, a screenplay and it's not an easy job at all. Um, and, and a lot of it is told in internal monologue and he found a way of, of telling this story that didn't involve very much voiceover and didn't involve uh, very, very complicated ways of telling a story and um, I, I think he did an amazing job. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I think uh, uh, starting from a book as good as uh, this one is uh, it really makes things easy for a director because uh, there's a lot of questions that actors would ask you normally, and, uh, but all the answers are in the book, so it makes uh, things quite easy. There's a lot of backstory, as, mm. as Nick said, that, uh, that can, I guess, feed uh, the actors on their characters. So uh, you, you get on set and you have uh, uh, actors who know their characters very well uh, from the book because probably you can't say as much uh, in a, in a script, screen, script than you can say in a book. So it's, it makes things easier, I think. I love being an actor. I love to work. I want to work. I need to work. <laughs> uh, for, for all the reasons that I want to do it. Uh, so the, the world, the opportunity of Bond was a great one. It's, um, it's the gift that keeps giving 
many respects. It's allowed me to, to do many different uh, movies and to have a career internationally. Um, you know, this, this, this whole experience, I know I can speak for, uh, for everyone involved, was just such a, a magical, beautiful time. And uh, I haven't quite experienced this sort of thing really ever. Um, it, it's just, um, I feel very blessed. So um, I love you all. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, uh, this has been great. How is it for you then to see the movie? I mean, do you follow it and, and see bits and pieces or do you s then see the, the whole picture? It's a very odd experience seeing it for the first time. And the thing I can never get used to is that um, even though I think these, these actors are completely wonderful, actors are always better looking than the people that you write. Um, <laughs> That is the point of actors. They, they get their job because they are very attractive people. And so, you know, whether, whether you are writing about a guy who works in a record shop or these four, you think, oh, I see, it's Pierce Brosnan, okay. Well, 